everyone, welcome back to Touch Fire Twice. I'm Joshua, and I'm here today with an in-depth sniff comparison and review of the Homeworks by Slacken & Co's 18 ounce newly launched candle, Chai Latte. Uh, this hit the QVC website late January, last week of January, as a duo, uh, and as of filming at least, it is still there on sale at the free shipping and handling rate, which is, which is always a good thing to get. Um, so I am going to do sort of an in-depth sniff comparison and review, and for those new to my channel, essentially what that means is, and why it's so wordy, as I tend to be pretty verbose myself, is I really, I obviously sniff it, give my sort of first impressions, um, you know, whether it's, you know, cold or burned, post burn, whatever it might be, and then do a comparison to either scents that I think it's similar to or inspired by or reimagined from, um, or just really to do a way, you know, we don't have smell of vision. And so if I can compare it to scents that you may know or have purchased in the past or existing scents and say it's like this or it's not like that, that can at least give you a general sense of what the vibe may be because the name and notes is never, you know, n enough to buy um, to really know what a scent is gonna smell like from any uh, any brand, um, it's really got to sniff it and at least understand you know what it's in the family of. So I've got four scents here, a few of which like there's a Homeworks, there's a Slacken and Co, there's a two Bath and Body Works, a White Barn, uh, just a, a mix of things I want to compare it to. Though I'll say straight off the off the the bat, I don't think this is a you know relaunch or, or duplicate of anything necessarily. I do believe this is a new scent entirely from Homeworks. I don't think it came out in any earlier releases over the past four or five years. Uh, I'm usually pretty attuned to the releases from them, but I could have missed it somewhere along the way if it was in some special edition packaging and didn't realize it. Um, so I do believe this is new. But straight off the bat, I was really excited because chai latte, you know, it, obviously a spiced black tea. I love tea scents across the board in home fragrance. So black tea, green tea, white tea, herbal tea, um, you know, matcha, anything I'm, I'm always intrigued by um, and generally enjoy both in actually home fragrance and you know, in, in the, the true form of actually drinking tea. Um, I just love it. And I think that it can lean so many different ways in home fragrance from fun, summery, bright to dark and, you know, luscious or herbal and astringent or creamy and warm. Tea can be across the seasons. So for anyone listening out there, I would love actually an entire collection, um, maybe it's Lacken & Co or something, of different tea interpretations of tea across the board. Because I think there's so much there. You know, you've got your Darjeelings and your Oolongs and your Pu'ers and, you know, your Matchas. There's just so many things that can be done with it. And I find it incredible. If I had my own, you know, line or my own company, I think tea would be one of the first, uh, you know, big collections I would want to launch just because I'm so excited by it and think it's so interesting. But let's get right into it. So I actually have two here, one that I burned, um, and I'll put some footage in here. You can see really great burn, um, as is to be expected with Homeworks. Strong flames, deep wax pool, clean burn. I burned it probably three times, a couple hours each time. It's been fantastic each time, so really happy with the burn quality. Um, and then I have another one here that is unlit, um, just so I can compare, because every once in a while, sometimes, especially a lighter scent, which I will say right off the bat, this is a little bit of, of a lighter scent in intensity. Um, sometimes it's, once it's been burned once, you smell the wicks when you put your nose in there versus just the oils and the wax. Um, so I have one here that is also unlit to really do a true clean comparison. So let's dig in first to the notes here. Um, this one actually must have been poured, I guess, late last year before it was official of Slacken & Co. Now Homeworks is Homeworks by Slacken & Co. Um, when this was poured, it was Homeworks by Harry Slacken. So small thing there, which just tells us kind of potentially when this was put into production. Um, the notes being spiced tea, steamed heavy cream, chai spice, and vanilla. Um, so that's, you know, four notes to go off of. Again, I would love to see a top, middle, bottom, really deeply intense uh, what all is in here, but that's a pretty good start. And just for anyone who is not familiar with chai, I think most people probably are at this point, um, but chai is a, a black tea, usually it's pretty milky, um, flavored with warm spices, can be cinnamon, cardamom, ginger, cloves, star anise, sometimes even things like fennel or nutmeg, pepper, or coriander, anything really to be that warm, sweet, spicy, uh, rich, comforting tea blend, right? So this one here, and these of course are the, the star anise that are on there. And I, the label I actually will say too, let's dig into this gold lid um, in their 18 ounce vessels. Um, but it all really is essentially like, just like milky here with a set, all the spices, almost like looks like a turmeric or something like that on this like kind of sitting as a slick on top of the milk. So really interesting um, kind of conceptual high end versus just a mug with you know steaming milk or something. Uh, art design there, which I, I think is really nice. 
Sniffing this, I will say I'm getting a little bit of, because it's a lighter scent, I'm getting a little bit of the wicks in this, which I have not trimmed yet. So I'm going to, for purposes of the review, um, I will say the way I sniff it is sort of how it, I think it does come out. It's not one of those candles that's completely different when it's you know lit or burning. Um, but I will compare it, just do the review from this clean one here. It is light. Uh, I wish it were heavier because a, a spice chai, I would be happy if it were kind of knock you down with really mounds of creamy thick milk and as it says in here literally steamed heavy cream some vanilla the tea all additional spices on top of it but it's quite light on, so on soft <laughs> on cold but it's got all the pieces within there that you want it to have it's just way toned down which i'm not sure why it's so toned down now let me compare that I, again i do get you know a bit of the tea, a little bit of the creaminess, not very sweet. Um, as they say, they don't mention, you know, sugar in here or sweetened milk. It really is kind of milk and uh, a, maybe a bit of vanilla, but that could just be, you know, vanilla um, seeds or, or whatever mixed in with the all of the, the chai spice blends, so the cinnamon, the cardamom, the ginger, the cloves. For a candle that is a spice, chai spice latte, um, there's more milk than spice or it's more even so it's maybe 50 50 50 percent like a steamed milk or cream and 50 percent your spices with your tea this is one of those things i always think it's interesting to ask yourself like if i didn't know the name and they were just testing these in white wax and empty vessels what would i call it and i don't know that i'd call this spice tea um i think i'd probably get some spices but it would be more of like a kitchen spice or a you know creamy something i don't specifically think i would call it out chai because I'm not getting individual notes of the cinnamon, the cardamom, the ginger, the cloves, whereas think of that Kitchen Herbs candle by Homeworks, you're going to snip that and you're going to get so many different herbs all hitting you. This is just a generalized, nice, but generalized spice blend. So when I compare that to some other scents, some other chai scents, this is the first one I immediately thought of, which is actually Slack & Co. from back in 2011, I believe it was, um, mid-2011. Um, I'll be talking about this collection shortly in a couple of videos in my uh, Slack and Co. from the Vault, Harry, bring them back uh, year round video with scents that are from across, you know, across seasons um, because Slack and Co. did a really interesting kind of passport collection where they, where they did a Himalayan chai, they did I think a Madagascar vanilla, um, they did a Peruvian black pepper and bergamot, Indian mahogany and teakwood, really interesting scents. This was one of them, I don't believe it went wide. It was again five or, or six cents and a few of them ended up going wide. The notes on this one, Himalayan chai, spiced hot black tea infused with the perfect blend of cardamom, clove buds, and creamy sandalwood. This one is also fairly light for, for being chai. Um, being 10 years plus old, there's not a whole lot of fragrance I'm getting from it. If I were to light it, because it's never been lit, there's just some oils honestly sitting on the top. Um, if I were to light it, I think it would have a solid scent. Uh, pretty calm though, again, similar to this, but I'm not getting the milk from this, so not really that similar. Then we go into, uh, this was from Bath & Botterick's White Bar in maybe 2014 or so, Iced Almond Chai. This may have been a failed test scent, not entirely certain. Um, I think it was like an add-on to this market collection in, uh, again, late 2014. This was cool and creamy iced chai enhanced by the richness of almond and a relaxing afternoon that's just right for spring, a relaxing fragrance that's just right for spring afternoon. This one I really like. They, I, this one they brought back maybe one other time and I burned through the ones I had at, at Bath & Works. This is Post Slacken. But it definitely has a good mix of, it does seem more like a true latte with an obvious milk, a little bit sweetened, and a soft spice. Again, not quite the intensity, the cardamom, the ginger, which are kind of, you know, spicy and, and almost herbal in some ways. Um, the cloves, star anise, that, you know, the licorice almost. Very mild. All the interpretations I've seen of chai have been quite mild, uh, which is a bit disappointing because I do want to see something really intense as chai can be. I really like this. It's not the same. Um, I would say, for anyone who knows the, this one, this is sweeter, very more, much more sugar in that. And maybe the almond, a bit of that kind of sweet nuttiness, almost like an almond, like a nut butter in there, which obviously this does not have because it doesn't call out almond. So not that one, of course. Um, and then this one is the other one I was initially thinking, this is White Pumpkin, which came out Bath & Body Works a few years ago and has kind of been a perennial hit the past couple of fall seasons there. White Pumpkin, Autumn Spice Blend, Ground Cinnamon. Though it's called White Pumpkin, to me, this actually is quite similar to a chai blend um, because of the spices. You know, they just call it Autumn Spice Blend, but what does that mean? 
probably your ginger, your cloves, your cinnamon, maybe a little bit of nutmeg, maybe a little bit of anise, um, but with that, and then uh, white pumpkin, okay, white pumpkin doesn't, it doesn't smell like pumpkin, it's not smelling like a gourd, the way that, you know, pumpkin carving maybe. It's just, it's sweet, there's a good amount of spice in there, but not your red hot cinnamon, a good like baking slash autumnal spicy, like peppery spices, and a cream, the white pumpkin is really like milk or cream or something, so this could be even marketed as, as a chai or chai latte, and I don't think it would be inaccurate. Love this one, strong, great throw. And again, this one, I would say it's actually not as spicy as this and not as sweet. So maybe more authentic in the lack of sweetness, whereas, you know, BBW tends to throw a lot of sugar and a lot of things to make it very palatable for the masses. Um, but it does work for white pumpkin. I do enjoy that. Then I was thinking, I was like, gosh, there's some homeworks that this reminds me of and I couldn't put my finger on it. And it's not exactly this one I sniffed it, but it's along the lines. This was the TSV, I wanna say it was this fall, uh, 2021 at least. Um, and this was the Golden Harvest Pumpkin. It was a trio, three-wick trio of scents. Um, really solid burn on that. The notes on this one, uh, whipped pumpkin, fresh cardamom, spiced maple rum, and cinnamon vanilla marshmallow. So immediately I'm thinking, okay, cardamom could certainly be in the chai latte, and they do mention vanilla. They're not in t they're not the same, um, but they could exist kind of in the same family. I would say the primary difference, there is something, there is like a pumpkin note in here that's almost like a, a pumpkin puree, um, the whipped pumpkin, I suppose, in this, that you don't have in the chai. Uh, you also, this that little bit of like the warmth or the darkness from the spiced maple rum, that sweetness or, or heaviness that this has, though not very intense, is there, is not in this. This is like a dried, um, it's a latte. There is the milkiness from the, the steamed heavy cream, but the spices almost come across as like a dried spice blend that you're gonna mix into it. So maybe you're steaming your milk and you have your, your tea bags. I keep going back to it. You know, it's funny, I, it sounds like I'm kind of hating on it in the sense that like there's, it doesn't have this that I like from the other candle, or it doesn't have that from the other candle, but then I smell it and it, it's very, it's a peaceful blend. So it's a, it's a relaxing chai. I'm used to thinking of an energetic chai because it's black tea and can be high in caffeine. It's, it's yeah, it's a bit dried, like like a, the dried tea and with the, the steamed milk separate. Nice. Anyhow, similar to this. So if you know some of the notes in this, like maybe that's, I'm getting the cardamom probably from this is what I may be getting um, the connection between the chai latte and the golden harvest pumpkin. Because certainly when I did burn this one, I did get a cardamom note. Like I immediately walked in and was like, oh man, it, I, cardamom is really a top note in this one. Could be some of what the connection is between those two for me. And then the final one, this is going to seem a little weird, but stick with me, that I actually think there's a similar base note across these two is from the Winter 2021 Collection Homeworks, the Gingerbread Mocha. Uh, notes on this one were gingerbread cookies, whipped mocha, brown sugar, and vanilla buttercream. This one for me wasn't a favorite. Um, it wasn't, I didn't really get any gingerbread. Got a little bit of like a light chocolatey and mostly just kind of milky. Um, not necessarily vanilla buttercream, just like whole milk, steamed whole milk with a little bit of sweetness in it. And I got a little, meh, a little bit of like, maybe like a dried cookie, like a, a crunched, you know, gingerbread or, or, or shortbread or something, but not overly buttery or bakery or super gourmand even. Entirely honest, wasn't a huge fan of this one, wouldn't do, repurchase it again. But what I will say that the similarity is the base note of, let's call it the vanilla milk, is similar. This one also is one where after the first burn, because it's a little milder fragrance, I smell a little bit more of the wicks. Now I do sometimes extinguish, uh, usually I blow it out, sometimes I'll, if there's really a lot of smoke going, every once in a while I'll dip the wicks. Usually I'll just set the lid on it for, not for a long period of time because I don't want the, the smoke to settle in it, but for a minute until the wick, you know, the little embers truly extinguish. And then I lift the lid off and do a little bit of this just to you know, get the, the smoke away from the wax. It doesn't settle in there and discolor or or make uh, the fragrance have an off scent. But I will say, a lighter blend sometimes then smells just, not smoky, just you smell a little bit more of the wicks um, in addition to it until you relight it and then it's not an issue. That's what I get a little bit with, uh, let me go to my burned one, my chai latte here. This one is stronger, more intense. I can actually smell the scent more so than I did with the gingerbread mocha. But where, again, where they match is 
the milkiness where it's not a super sweet milk, which is fine because I don't need it to be a sugar bomb, but you've got like that heavy cream, steamed, maybe a little bit of vanilla bean in there. And then this one had, you know, the, at least based on the notes, the gingerbread cookies, the whipped mocha, etc. This is your spice tea and chai spice. I like this one better for sure. But yeah, I'd say overall, I like it. I'm I'm happy with it. It's more of a layering scent for me, which to be honest, doesn't happen a lot with homeworks because they're usually powerhouse performers that stand on their own. This is good for someone who either just doesn't want a powerhouse scent or, you know, like the, the candle enthusiasts and, and fans that we are, we often have multiple candles burning at the same time in our home. Great to layer with many year-round scents or even even springtime scents potentially with a little bit of gourmand going on. Um, this does add a nice, a little bit of that spice in the air with a, a base of just that creamy, milky um, scent. There was one other fragrance I'll just throw in here that I initially thought, could this be similar to? This is a blast from the past actually. Slacken & Co Kitchen Spice. This is from 2011. Um, this was a mixture of nutmeg, allspice, hazelnut, and caramel. Very milky. And again, as you see the spice collection on here, not that far off from what you could see in chai. This though had a, not dissimilar, but certainly the hazelnut adds a nuttiness to this, not unlike the almond adds a nuttiness to the iced almond chai, and the caramel. It's a subtle caramel, but caramel, caramel, whatever you call it, I grew up calling it caramel, so there it is, caramel, caramel. Um, it, it's subtle, but is there, and it do, does add a little bit of that burnt sugar depth to it so also not the same but again in the same family where they could be in a, in a collection um and they're kind of the sister senses as i often think of them so in a wrap not to go too crazy long with this subtle the sweetness in this what is interesting the sweetness in this really only comes from the spices because you know cinnamon and and um some of the other chai spices you're maybe not so much the ginger, but cinnamon, cardamom, cloves, have a little bit of sweetness to them in, in some ways. Or if you put a little bit of cinnamon and you taste it, it's gonna have a little bit of sweetness if it's, if it's heavy in um, the oils from the cinnamon bark. And I do get a little bit of that sweetness in there. Again, it's subtle, it's light. Don't go into this expecting a heavy, heavy, cloying, sweet, drippy, knock you over spice. Um, which maybe is why it's chai latte and not spice chai tea or something. I'm still happy that I purchased it. Still happy with it and I'm looking forward to burning it. Great morning scent when you wake up and you just want something to start the day <laughs> with your coffee or whatever you're having. Throwing this on in the background for a couple of hours is a, is a nice start to, to get into fragrance then maybe throwing something stronger on top of it. So that is my review for chai latte. Let me know if you have it, um, if you sniffed it, what you think or loved it, hated it, in between. I uh, would love to hear your thoughts and opinions and until next time guys, take care.